Welcome to the Chicago Data Center. I'm Sean James, construction manager, and I'm going to take you inside our brand new data center. But first, I'm going to introduce general manager of infrastructure services, Arna Josephsberg. Arna? I'm very excited to be here today and so impressed with the progress on this phenomenal data center project. It's a great time to be at Microsoft right now. As part of our software plus services strategy, we're delivering innovative online services to half a billion customers around the globe. Well, to support that software plus services strategy, we also need super innovative and efficient infrastructure. That means innovations in data centers, global networks, and server farms. Uh, this particular data center in Chicago, North Lake, will become a cornerstone of that infrastructure strategy. And I'm particularly excited about the innovations in scale, technology advances, and energy efficiency of this data center. Thanks, Arna. Our tour begins here at the utility substation, where we tap into these 138,000 volt power lines and convert it to a manageable 13,000 volts. Now, in comparison, you plug your computer into 110 or 220 volts. We use two separate feeds from the grid to increase the building's reliability and availability. This will be one of the highest capacity and most efficient data centers when completed. This giant hangar will be used to support more than 100 containers, each loaded with more than 2,000 highly efficient servers. The container will arrive at the door on a trailer, loaded to the ground, and moved into each parking spot. Once in place, we hook up the power cables, the water hoses for cooling, and internet connection. Then 2,000 servers will be ready to run Microsoft services. This facility will be live in the fall of 2008, just under one year after breaking ground. This is one of the world's largest data centers. Once completed, it will house over 100,000 servers, providing services to customers all around the globe. Well, that's our tour. Thanks for watching.